everyone, I'm Maddie and I am back with the second episode of our book writing chronicles. It's been a week since Gabby and I started writing again on this book. It's been a pretty productive week. The point we are at now, we have broken 20,000 words. We actually are around 22,000 in a week. Gabby and I have written about 16,000 words between the two of us, which I'm really excited about. Now we're basically about one-fifth of the way through the book. We're about 10 chapters into the book and it's going to have about 50. We've been talking back and forth on Google Docs. They have like a little chat bar there. I'll send things like side characters are falling to the wayside, but who cares? Gotta get the words on the page. We'll come back and flesh them out later. There are some things that I'm definitely acknowledging that could be better, but I am 100% of the mindset that I am not gonna go back and add anything until that first draft is finished. What sucks, though, is in the middle of writing a chapter this week, I got another idea for a book. And I was like, <laughs> back pocket thought. Gotta keep it there. Most days, I think I wrote a decent amount amount of words. There were two days in a row where I didn't write anything and I kind of hated myself for it, but I made up for it by writing like 4,500 words the next day in a couple hours. In total, I have written 10,652 words in the past week. I haven't written that many words in a long time. Honestly, most of my first drafts for novels that I got into and never really finished usually stop somewhere around the 10,000 word mark and I have surpassed 10,000 word mark for myself in a week, which is really great and adding that on to like what I've written before our book has so many words. Gabby has written a lot too, which is great, but she does not have a camera. She's back home now. I miss her dearly, but again, we've been chatting via the Google Docs chat room. There's been no shortage of communication between the two of us. For right now, it's just gonna be me mostly updating you guys on what's happening with the book. I wrote a scene today that I'm pretty proud of. It got pretty dramatic, but in like a realistic way. So realistically dramatic, and I really, really liked it. I started making a writing playlist. I've discovered though that I can't start listening to music while I'm writing until like I'm already in the zone because if I'm not already in the zone then if I put music on it's gonna distract the hell out of me. Most people put writing songs on their playlist that they feel relate to the characters or the tone of the book. I just kind of put stuff in the playlist that I kind of like. Some of it might connect to my characters in some strange way. I don't really know. Every video I've decided I'm going to share a sentence or a phrase from the book that has no context or anything but just a sentence or a phrase that I think you guys would enjoy. I got a laptop for my grad present. My mom gave it to me and she gave it to me way before before I graduated because she was like, I can't wait, I can't wait. And I was like, okay, thanks. My other laptop would literally take 30 minutes to turn on and then it would update and then it would get mad at me. I'm gonna try to find something that I think is kind of funny. A thing that I've been doing with this character tonally is I've been switching from using just regular font to italics. To me, that's just a way that teenagers think. I was stubborn and would sweat my ass off to prove a point that it most certainly was fall, even if the temperatures didn't reflect it. And you can pry this sweater off my warm dead body because I'm not taking it off myself. That's just a taste of the character whose perspective I've been writing from. I like the idea of continuing to do one-liners each episode because they don't really reveal anything. I've been drinking a lot of tea while I'm writing. I also got a candle from Bath & Body Works during their semi-annual sale that I have been searching for for such a long time. The London scent is tea and lemon, which is so good. It seems like it'd be super subtle. Mmm. So good. When you light it, it actually really, really smells aggressively like tea and lemon throughout the house, and it's so nice. Dialogue tags suck. I want to use the word said so many times. I realized I had used the word look or looking six different times in two sentences back to back. There are some moments when the words just don't want to stop coming, and other times where I'm sitting there and I'm like, He said hi. No. He said hello. No. He said howdy. Even worse. For the most part, though, I really, really am enjoying what I'm writing. I currently only have 11 songs songs on my writing playlist, but that's fine. This one's just really sweet. I like it. I guess it fits tonally with the book. Twenty two thousand words and counting still going plan is probably gonna be to write a similar amount next week We're a fifth of the way through a book. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching Don't forget to like this video comment down below anything. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'll see you next time. Bye